it's here. We released Freedos 1.3 on February 20, which I know was a month ago, but I've been offline and I haven't been able to talk about it. So Freedos 1.3 has a ton of great new features. Uh, in the release announcement, I wrote about, uh, you know, this contains a bunch of new improvements from, since Freedos 1.2, including a new Freecom 0.85a, uh, new kernel 2043, the floppy edition now uses compression and requires about half as many diskettes. We have the return of networking as well as uh, some new games and some new programs. We have many, many, many package updates. Uh, we have improved CD initialization on the boot media and the installed system and much, much more. That return of networking, by the way, is pretty cool. In a previous release, I, I'd asked to remove our networking package because I just wasn't sure of the licenses involved. So we took that out so we could look at it more closely. Uh, and I'm really glad that we did because we have networking back in Freedos 1.3. And Jerome, our distribution wrangler, did a lot of great work with that. And if you install Freedos 1.3 on VirtualBox, for example, you should get a working network stack when it's done. And of course, that live CD is a big step up for Freedos. It makes it really easy to try out Freedos without actually having to install it. Just boot a machine with a live CD or boot into a virtual machine with a live CD and you're already running Freedos. And of course, aside from that and the newer versions of programs, I would say the biggest features in Freedos are that we included some new games in Freedos 1.3. We really wanted to pay attention to those games. Uh, one reason that people use Freedos today is to play classic DOS games. And we wanted to make sure that we had our own open source games that we could play in Freedos as well. So check out those games. Uh, but because of how virtual machines work, I, I should mention not all of the games will work perfectly in every virtual machine, but we tested on the popular virtual machines and we know that all the games work in at least one of the popular VMs. So for example, if you use VirtualBox, I think most of the games will work great there. You might see some graphical issues on some of them. That is an issue with VirtualBox. That's not an issue with FreeDOS. Check the README for more details. You're going to need 20 megabytes to install a plain DOS system and uh, about 275 megabytes for a full installation, including the applications and games. You can find other optional packages on the bonus CD uh, and for a list of everything that's included in Freedos 1.3, uh, you can read the release report file on the web. Very excited for Freedos 1.3. Thanks to everyone for your help in making this new release. The new Freedos, uh, I think, reflects all the hard work of everyone on the project who wrote code, translated messages, edited documentation, tested new versions, offered their support, all the other things that go into a new version. And I can't thank everyone here, but I can list a couple of names. Jerome, Tom, Ralph, Eric, Itor, Willie, Thrakes, Elaine, Anton, Arkady. I mean, the list goes on and on. So thank you to everyone for helping make Freedos 1.3 a reality. Uh, before I go, I wanted to thank everybody who supports me on Patreon. You really do make this channel happen, so thank you so much for your support. Some of you are supporting me at a higher level, and I want to recognize you especially here for that, so thank you very much for that. Visit our website at freedos.org, join us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you. <laughs>